Back in July, the news wasn't good. A huge shelf of Arctic ice in pieces thanks to climate change. But that loss seems quaint compared to the news today. Two ice shelves around Ellesmere Island have been dramatically reduced, one completely floating away. The scope of this? Here's Kelly Crow with the answer. Far above the Arctic Circle at the northernmost tip of the continent, what took centuries to create has vanished in a single summer. It was uh, a terrible thing to see, actually. This, keeping in mind that these are features that have been around for what we think is more than 3,000 years. Professor Warwick Vincent was there. He has spent 10 years studying these ice shelves. He was amazed by what he saw this summer. In fact, it was like somebody had taken this huge uh, ice scape, uh, an an area about the size of the island of Montreal, and had suddenly dropped it, and that it had suddenly shattered into a million pieces. It was really quite an extraordinary sight. This is satellite imagery of the Cersen ice shelf breaking up. Here it is again as 60% of the ice shelf cleaves off and floats away. Just down the coast, the Markham ice shelf, outlined in red on July 28th, then on August 12th, completely gone. What was once a completely ice field uh, field, which has been there for about 4,000 years, we'll look back a week later and it's now completely ice free for the first time in at least 4,000 years. The Ward Hunt Island ice shelf made news earlier this summer when a chunk broke away. That ice shelf has cracked even more over the last few weeks. The Arctic ice shelves were first charted by explorer Robert Perry in 1906. Since then, more than 90% have vanished. Last year, these researchers stood on ice as thick as a 10-story building. This year, the same spot is open water. This is a region that's experiencing uh, extremely rapid climate change, consistent with, with, with what all the predictions say about global climate change. The ice shelves are not all that's been lost. They create freshwater lakes filled with microorganisms that scientists are just beginning to understand. When we've lost these ice shelves, we've lost those really kind of unique, extreme uh, microbial environments. Uh, They can't be replaced, and once they've gone, they're now basically gone forever. With climate models projecting a continuing warming Arctic, these ancient ice forms will not be recreated anytime soon. Kelly Crow, CBC News, Toronto.